What I recommend is just to make a 15 minute game. I want you to think of a really, really simple game. Start by making extremely simple and basic games. Tip number six is make a lot of small games. Why is everyone telling you this? Make small games, blah, 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 just to promote their course or to get your email. And by doing that, they will make money from you better than making any game. Grab my free indie game starter guide in the description. So if becoming a game developer is your dream, check it out. There. See, just joking. Do you think I will say that to the people who made me a game developer? Anyway, you hear that just to ignore it. And then you start working on your MMO open world Skyrim like dream game. Or maybe this is the first time you hear this advice. So I want to make it clear to all game devs why it's so important that your life depends on it. Literally. So let me start by the reason straight away. Small games are the foundation to reach your goal. And the best way to explain it is through the next example. So pay close attention. Imagine this is the first time you are traveling to another country. And of course, by yourself. You will have to plan your budget, the time you need to travel, and how exactly you will do that. Like, will you use a car or will you travel by walking? There are a lot of things to consider. What will you get with you? Only money and food? What is the amount exactly? How many times will you have to refill your fuel tank if you travel by car? To know how much does that cost and how much time do you need to reach the destination, it will depend on the street's allowed speed and the length of the road without forgetting the car itself if it can handle the journey without overheating. All these things matter to reach your destination and there are more details I didn't mention. Now. Picture yourself traveling to that country for the second time. This time, you have all the information you need and you can plan your journey more efficiently thanks to your past experience. That is how the game dev journey works. The only difference here is that there is no clear information to estimate the equipment, the time, money and effort you need and whether you will reach your goal or not. Because now you don't know the speed sign nor the length of the road. You also don't have a car or a GPS to guide you. Basically, you don't have one thing to help you know what is coming, except what other indie devs have left for us. So you can't start working on your dream game right away. You have to complete small games to know the speed of your car, the items you should get with you, alongside the information to plan accordingly. I hope the idea is clear now. I could have said you are making a new rocket car sci-fi or something like that, just to avoid things like, well, I can ask someone how much time it takes to travel, problem solved, or something like that. But let's see what benefits from making small games and does it really worth delaying you working on your dream game? When you make small games, you learn your speed of making mechanics and solving errors because it depends on your skills and only you can know your speed of doing that. Another benefit is that you will learn all the parts you should take care of in order to complete a game. You will wear multiple hats. You will be the artist, whether it's 2D or 3D. You will be responsible for storytelling, VFX, marketing, level design, sound effects, planning for a game, fixing errors, making mechanics and systems, game and music, UI, game design, game feel, polish, genre and themes, narrative types, prototype, scope creep, risk management, game economy, AI for NPCs, and much, much more. But I will be real with you for a second. One of the main skills a developer must have is chunking tasks. It's like taking a big task or problem and breaking it down into smaller, more manageable pieces. By doing this, you can focus on solving one piece at a time and it becomes easier to understand and solve. The same for a big game. If you want to make a game with 10 mechanics in mind, then make a small game for each mechanic. You are breaking a big game into small manageable pieces. So, if you ignore this, you will miss on developing a really important skill that is a must when making your dream game or a big game. So after you have gone through this cycle of making one or small games that require at least one month, you will have a better idea of how much time and effort your dream game will require. With this knowledge, you can create a GDD, which stands for Game Design Document. I like to call it the Game Roadmap or Game Dev Roadmap. Tell me which name is better in the comments. It's basically where you type and plan for your story, mechanics, genre, themes, settings, core mechanic, art, and most importantly, 
time and budget. You can write on paper or use Notion or any other app. After estimating how much time you need to make your dream game from your previous experience, you can estimate your budget too. You start simply by making an hourly rate for yourself. Basically, how much will you pay yourself if you were an employee for each hour? So let's say your hourly rate is $30. It's up to you to decide the number, but keep it logical. You will need to work for 5 years on your dream game if you spend 2 hours per day, based on your knowledge of your speed in implementing the desired mechanics. And hey, it's just an example. Now let's calculate your budget. $30 multiplied by 2 for 1 day, then 7 for 1 week, then 4 for 1 month, then by 12 for 1 year, and finally by 5. Now you can know the budget of a 1 month, 1 year, and 5 years. As we said, before, your dream game will need 5 years to finish for the sake of the example. It's gonna cost you almost $100,000 to make your dream game without calculating your living cost and cost of the assets you need to buy for your game. So by gaining experience from making small games, learning all these steps, the risks, and the amount of money and time you have to pay, you can plan for your dream game. Even if you just learned the basics of all aspects mentioned, it's still better than starting from zero. That way, you can know whether to start your dream game or not. Because imagine after planning you find out that the game needs 5 years and all of your savings will cover only 3 years of living. You will get up. So now you can scrap unnecessary features, reduce the scope of the project and start. Not to mention that you probably started growing up your audience and made one successful small game to make sure that you know the path of success. But not too fast my friend. All that being said, you will probably have to double the amount of time you guessed you need in making your dream game. It's not my words. You can check any experienced indie dev. They all had to double or triple the amount of time they planned to finish their their game if it's a big one you should add another buffer somewhere between 20 and 100 percent but why it's simply because considering all the jobs you have to do at the same time it's just hard to predict how much time exactly each one will require plus connecting all the pieces together in the right order to make sure everything works seamlessly this is not an easy task also in a way that makes the game fun this is one of the hardest things when making a big game it's also known that the more mechanics you add, the more bugs and errors will occur and the more time and effort you need to polish things. Also, the more things to consider and manage, which means the harder it gets. And the best way to visualize it is through this graph. Another big advantage of making small games is to learn your strengths and weaknesses. If you are good at marketing, art, storytelling and game feel, but you struggle with other skills, you can fill in the gaps by outsourcing. You have assets, collabs, websites, publishers, and paid workers. Finally, by making small games, but not really small, you can sell them on Steam and fund your next games, or your dream game. Like Jonas Tyroller, who took only 6 months to make Thronefall and achieved high success. This took us 176 days. I know that he worked with someone else, but you get the point. I explained important things that you need to know to start your game dev journey. So go watch it if you want to level up your knowledge. Thanks to all YouTubers who told us to make small games. I respect you all and in the end, enjoy your game dev journey.